Okay, good morning. Um, ten past ten. Um, we're gonna we're gonna start a video now and try and explain about the working time directive and drivers hours. So we need to split this into two categories. The first one is your driving hours, and the second time is being in line with the EU regulations for the transport companies, which is working time directive. Um, it's all a bit of bullshit, this walk and working time directive, to be honest, in my opinion. But it does um, put a safety net for some workers. Okay, so let, let's talk about when I put my card in, my digital card, I have to log on at the beginning of the day. Now, I want everyone to think of a 24-hour period. So if... Uh, to make it easy, we're going to say I put my card in and it registers at 6 a.m. Okay, okay. So that's when I start my work. Now it could be driving, rest periods, you know, during the day, other work. From the time I put my card in, um, it registers to the time I take my card out or log off for the day. Now. Um, what you want to try to do is to keep it to below 13 hours, okay? And I, I'll explain why. We can, we can do a 13 hour day, but we can also do, do three 15 hour days. Now that isn't driving, that's from the time you put your card in until the time you finish work, okay? But if you, if, if you go over 13 hours, like 13 hours and five minutes, that class is as a reduced break of nine hours or a 15 hour day. Because if you think of it in a 24 hour clock, thir you have to have 11 hours break, okay? But you can reduce it to nine hours. So 13 hours and 11 is 24 hours. That's a 24 hour period. So anything below 13 would class, you can get 11 hours in 24 hours from the time you started. But if you go over 13 hours, even if it's by one minute or two minutes, say you did 13 hours and five minutes, that's classed as a reduced break, a nine hour break. Because if you work it out, 13 hours and five minutes plus 11, is 24 hours and five uh, uh, 24 hours and five so you've gone over 20 you're into the following day so if you keep it below 13 you can get 11 hours in so 13 and 11 is 24 yeah 13 hours and five minutes you cannot get 11 hours in a 24 hour period it doesn't fit so that would be classed as a reduced break so if you've gone over your 13 hours, it's best to make advantage of those extra couple of hours, whether it be more driving or other work or whatever. But as you mustn't go over 15. So remember before 15, you've got to stop. You've got to find somewhere to park, okay? So that's how that works out. A lot of people get confused because they work like, I don't know, 14 hours and 55 minutes. So it's just below 15 hours. And then the following day, they start work and they do 13 hours and five minutes. And they think that's a 13 hour day. Well, it's not, it's classed as a 15 because you can't get 11 hours break in. Yeah, so anything over 13 hours, even if it's by one minute or two minutes, it's classed as a 15 and a reduced break. So you can have three 15s a week and, th and obviously your three reduced breaks. So 15 and nine is 24. So I hope that sort of settles that bit up. Um, you, want to you, want, and you want to try to save a 15 hours for your last working day if you can, because in the UK on a Friday, if you're coming home, the worst thing you want is when you're doing five days or your sixth day is to run out of time because you haven't got a 15 hour left to get you home, yeah? So remember at the end of the week, then you've got to take your weekly rest well, your weekly rest can, has got to be 45 hours, but again, it can be reduced to 24. But if you do reduce your weekly rest to 24, it's got to be made up over a period of time. Most companies, you can get 45 hours.
hours off, you know, so it is fine. Um, we used a 24 hour rest period because we were doing Continental, but that's a different case, okay? So I hope that makes that clear. That's your total hours from putting your card in to finishing at the end of the day. Forget about driving, that's total time you've been on duty, okay? Now, during that total time you're on duty, the working time directive states that you have to have um, breaks sufficient during that time so that people, you know, because that's a law. Um, so in a truck, I have to push my brake button to show that I'm having a break, yeah? So to get round this, and it is totally legal, if you lose track of it, which you can, it's best to put it on break. Even if it's for three minutes, it doesn't matter. Three minutes, five minutes, ten minutes. You know, if I pause somewhere and, you know, I've got to wait and I'm waiting to get on a way bridge, I put it on break. Because I could, I'm not doing anything. I could be waiting there 15 minutes. Which classes is my working time directed break? Or also, my driving break of 15 minutes, yeah? Um, I could be waiting for four minutes. It doesn't matter. Because what happens is... At the end of the week, you're not allowed to um, clock up more than 60 hours, so or working time, during the week. So every time you put that button on break, yes, that um, is, so you say you did 15 hours in that day. But at the end of the day, all those little times you put on break for three minutes, break for 15 minutes, break for half an hour, break for 10 minutes and you keep using that system like that all of those breaks will come off your 15 hours so let's make it easy you've done 15 hours from when you put your card in until you where well, you clock off now during that day all of those little breaks added up to i don't know we're waiting and whatever to say four hours or five hours because th that's quite common in the truck world okay so you've got your 15 hours, but you've got five hours worth of breaks. So your 15 hour day is now being re uh, brought down to 10 hours. So what over a period of time, you've got to average out at nine hours per day. So that's why you want to use the brake functionality in your truck as often as you can. Now the law states that, you know, you cannot be on a break if you're doing other work. So you need to use some common sense on this. You know, if you happen to get somewhere, and let's say, for instance, uh, Lidl's as a prime example, and Aldi, Lidl's and Aldi, you have to um, unload the truck yourself. Now, in the old days, we used to park onto a loading bay, yeah, open the doors, park onto the loading bay. You could be on that loading bay for two hours. Well, we would sit in the truck and put it on break. Watch TV, you're having a break. That's legal. But Lidl's and that, you have to unload the truck yourself. And the uh, Transport Ministry and um, the VOSA, or whatever they're called now, know this. So if you get pulled up and you've got a ticket for Lidl, and they can see from your tachograph that you've got onto the bay, then all of a sudden you're on break. It's like, hey-ho, who was unloading the truck? You were. Why haven't you used other work? So you need to be careful. You know, the law's the law, and we need to stick to the law. Um, so if you're somewhere, you know, where you, you, you know, you, you, if you're on somewhere and he says to you, you know, you've got to wait two hours, drive or 15 minutes, put the thing on bloody break. Makes no difference. If you're doing other work, like, I, like, like for myself, I have a PTO, a power takeoff. Um, so when I'm unloading, even though I'm unloading for 50 minutes, sometimes an hour through the pipes of which I showed you in the other video. Um, the, the 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 head the tachograph head shows that the PTO is engaged, and that they can, the ministry and everyone can see this, so they they would want to know if you're on a break. Then, well, how come you're on a break if the PTO's in? You must be unloading. If you're unloading, that's other work. So you need to use your common sense out there. But my advice is to use the break functionality as often as you can. Now. Let's have a look at brakes with driving. Okay, so this is a separate section. So we can drive nine hours a day, okay, total driving, but we can extend it to 
two two tens. So basically two tens. So Monday and Tuesday you can drive up to ten. Remember, after nine hours is classed as ten. Yeah, nine hours and one minute is classed as a ten hour break, even though it's not. So before nine hours is nine hours. Before ten hours is ten hours. So I can drive that. Now that let's say I drive from here to Scotland. Well, it's it, you know I cannot. The most I can drive in one day currently is four hours and thirty minutes. So I start in Bristol and I start driving. The truck, the, the, the tachograph knows I'm driving and it shows a little wheel. I'm driving. As soon as I stop, say I stop at some traffic lights, it will move to other work. Yeah. As soon as the wheels move, it will go back to driving. So there's a clock above me, which I can't show you now, which tells me a countdown for four hours and thirty minutes. Now during that four hours and thirty minutes period, I can keep driving. Yeah. But before I reach the four hours and 30 minutes, I've got to stop because I've got to stop and show 30, 45 minutes break. Or I can show a 15 minutes in between the end of the four and a half hours. And then when I take my other one, I can do 30 minutes, but it's got to show 45 minutes, whether it be 15 minutes on, other, on break and 30 minutes. When it does, it will reset it back to four hours and 30 minutes. So that's how you do this sort, yeah? Now remember, you, you know, if you were to do 10 hours and you've got your brakes in, yeah? And you happen to be driving and it was, I don't know, nine hours and 15 minutes, that's classed as a 10 hour. So even though you haven't actually done 10 hours, anything is a little bit like the brakes, the nine hours, yeah? If you go over nine hours, that's sorry. If you go over um, um, your working time of thirteen hours, if you were to go over thirteen hours by one minute or two minutes within a twenty-four hour period, you cannot get eleven hour break in. So that's classes of nine. It's the same on the driving. So if you did nine hours and fifteen minutes, even though you've got 30, 45 minutes to make up a ten and you finish, that's one of your tens done. You can't reuse that. So you want to be using this to your own initiative. Uh, most of us truck drivers use it, it to, to our advantage. You know, the ministry put in these laws um, of um, being able to do 15 hours three times a week, yeah, and to be able to extend your hours to 10 hours twice a week for a reason. And those reasons are because they understand that every now and then you may be held up due to an accident or whatever, so it gives you time to be able to park up legally at the end of the night. Now, a lot of haulage companies use this to their advantage and try and make you do it that, but it's actually there to safeguard the driver, okay? So let's get a look at driving hours now. So the tachograph will add up every bit of driving I do, and Within a day, I can drive up to nine hours, okay? So I can do that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, or Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. But if you add all of these nine hours up, it cannot exceed 56 hours in one week. That's a maximum I could possibly do. And um, that would involve me driving, let's say, for instance, 10 hours on a Monday, 10 hours on a Tuesday, Wednesday nine hours, Thursday nine hours, Friday nine hours, and Saturday nine hours. Four nines are 36, two tens is 56. That's the maximum, maximum I can do. Well, theory, that's not gonna happen, but that's the maximum. But within a two week period, my hours cannot exceed 90 hours. So if I've done 56 hours in the first week, I've only got 44 hours left. Sorry, 34 hours, sorry, left. Because that's all I can do the following week. So you want to be trying to clock up about, if you, if, you, if you were doing 40, 44 hours a week, the following week you can still do your 44 hours, 45 hours. you just got to make sure that within the two week period, you're not over 90 hours. And this sometimes catches drivers out because, um, you know, you, you think, well, I'll do a Saturday, or I'll do a Sunday and you forget about it, so you need to keep track of this. Um, but that's the easiest way to work it. So just to recap on this, on the working time directive, we, the most you, can, uh, most you can be on duty for in one week is 60 hours. 
but within that 60 hours every time there's a break it comes off that 60 hours so you want to try to be aiming to with taking off your brakes to get that down to 49 hours 48 hours that's what you want to be trying to do on this yeah um, if you were to do 13 hours every day that's fine but if you went over 13 hours that's classed as a 15 hour day you can only do three, three 15s a week yeah so hopefully that makes things a little bit easier for you. If you do have any questions or any more complex questions, um, just leave us a message to uh, Irene and William's channel um, and we will get back to you as soon as we can. Um, I've got to get going now, but um, I'll catch you later. Thank you. Bye-bye.